Starting off with the HMI intensity gram map, which shows five sunspot regions mostly on the western side of the sun today. Sunspot 3483 shows the highest possibility of producing an X flare at just a 5% chance. A CME that erupted on the 9th hit Earth's magnetic field on November 12th at approximately 6 a.m. today. It does not appear to be a strong impact. Nevertheless, G1 class geomagnetic storms are possible in the hours ahead. This model shows the pressure on the magnetosphere today. This geoelectric field model shows a measure of the induction hazard to artificial conductors, such as electrical power lines, that results from geomagnetic activity thus far today. You can see the intensity of the storm as if affects the electrical grid. And here is this aurora model, showing the northern and southern hemispheres of Earth, and the projected coverage of the auroras, and the viewing visibility areas of the planet. Yellow to red indicates the higher intensity areas of the aurora. Here are the last 24 hours of solar activity recorded by the Lasco C2 filter. There hasn't been any significant CME thus far, that would affect the Earth in the near future. For the lunar observers, the moon is in the waning crescent phase. Illumination, 1%. The full moon for this month will occur later in the month on Monday, November 27th. The new moon is earlier in the month on Monday, November 13th. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. Yeah.